Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have Monkey with RNG. Amazing name by the way. Um, in the tier 10 Italian medium tank it is the Progetto 65. So Monkey's going to go with um, Bond Vents, Bounty Aiming actually which is rather surprising and Bounty Vert Stabs. I don't usually see people use um, aiming devices on a Progetto 65. But I mean if it works, if it works for Monkey then they should definitely go with that. Um, so, yes. Yes, very, very. The Progetto 65 is actually one of the most um, played tier 10 medium tanks inside the game. But surprisingly enough, it's one of the, <laughs> the worst in terms of win rate. Like, you'd expect a vehicle that plays a lot to be kind of in the middle, right? Because a lot of good players will play it, a lot of bad players will play it. Um, but this is actually one of the worst in terms of winners, I think, at the moment. It's, like, second worst, if I'm not mistaken, just above the T-62 way, which is, it is a connector's vehicle, so um, I guess we should measure them differently or something? I don't know. So, why is the Prochetto 65 with such bad win rate? My goodness, trying to boost themselves up over here. Unfortunately, not able to get that. Um, but I was really surprised actually seeing the Progetto having such a bad win rate. Uh, when I play this vehicle, I just... It, it's just fun. I mean, it has decent mobility, it has a decent gun, it has awful DPM. Right, it has the worst DPM at tier 10. Even worse than the Batch at 25T. Um, so, yeah. DPM-wise, it is trash. Right, it's kind of like tier 8-ish, I would say. Uh, DPM with just... A, 2100 damage per minute but apart from that I don't really see any reason for this vehicle to, to just be so bad right sure it did get nerfed um, a few months back maybe it's already a year by now my goodness time flies when you're having fun uh, when the lion released right so when they released the lion which was um, an assembly shop Italian medium tank uh, basically a Progetto 65 but with more heavily armored um, and with longer intricate preload, more damage. It's kind of like a, a chunkier Progetto 65. So I guess to make it more viable, they reduced the Progetto 65's armor, making it overmatched by uh, every 120, my goodness, nice shot there, uh, 120, one millimeter caliber gun or higher in the hull, which previously you couldn't do. It had um, 50, 45 millimeters, if I'm not mistaken, and they reduced it to 40. So, yes, you do get penned by most vehicles with Progetto 65. And the Lion just doesn't have that weakness. But I still actually prefer the Progetto 65 over the Lion. Can we sneak a shot? Yes, we can. I shot by Monkey over here. Because of <laughs> the intricate preload. Trying to talk um, and see the game at the same time. Always love this uh, frantic stuff. Anyway. Intricate preload. Right between those two vehicles, the line has 4.5 second entry clip reload, and I just feel like you miss so many opportunities. Like, once you shoot one time, enemies just have so long to react, right? 4.5 seconds is a very long time to react. But with a percent of 65, just like this. One, two and a half seconds later, two, and most people just don't react in time. Sure, they can start turning and stuff, um, but they won't react in time. The line just gives them so, so much time to react. And this is why I personally prefer the Progetto 65, and actually perform better with the Progetto 65, even though most of the player base, I guess, uh, would go for the Lion. Okay. Oh my goodness. So, Progetto 65, some stats, right? 65 kilometers an hour top speed, which is very decent. 20 reverse speed, I think it was 23 prior to the nerfs, but then Wargaming said that the vehicle was too popular and being popular is bad apparently i guess like a vehicle was fun so it deserved nerfs uh, personally don't really agree with that i think that if a vehicle overperforms it should be nerfed not if it is overplayed like it it was overplayed obviously um but performance wise it wasn't very high it's still, it was still very average in terms of win rate in terms of like W and 8 everything. It was in the middle, maybe even uh, below average in all of those regards. So it was it was basically nerfed because Wargaming wanted to sell more Lions which were released at the time. 
Okay, my goodness, nice shots by Monkey with that Reggie putting the third one. The fourth shell is a, is a shell you don't actually want to shoot because it's just such a bad reload. It's like 13 seconds with probably an amazing crew. And like a monkey with RNG has, with the premium consumable, with the bond vents. It's just ridiculous. It's like maybe 16 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. 15 and a half, maybe. Um, so you don't really want to fire that final shot unless you have to. Unless you like absolutely have to fire that fourth round. You shouldn't do that. You should stick with the first, second shots. Um, maybe the third, right, if you need to as well. But most of the time, doing a 1-2... Maybe a three is the way to go. Keep that fourth one for an emergency. And this is exactly what Monkey with RNG is doing. Left that fourth one for an emergency. They didn't know if they will be able to shoot anymore. So just unload into the Amex. Don't let the Amex go forwards. And yes. My goodness. My goodness. Um, so I was talking about why the Progetto is bad. But I didn't really give any bad points. right? Except for the DPM. And I'm just going to continue giving decent points. It has 400 meters view range, which is decent. It has decent camo rating with 15.4 uh, base camo, which is kind of like the middle of, of every tier 10 medium tank. So it's just 0.35 dispersion, which is average as well. My goodness, 268 is up here. Put one into the 268. Can we get a second one? Always stopping the, the stats. There we go. 268 is down as well. Um, yeah, 2.5 second aim time. Good terrain resistances, uh, decent power to rate, weight ratio with like 18 and a half, 18.75 maybe. Firing the fourth one against the mouse over here? Yes, okay. Okay, so once again, I personally don't really fire the fourth round unless it's a kill shot or unless I feel like I have to. Uh, but I guess Monkey with RNG decided to reset the engagement kind of. Uh, Focus towards the 2790, which is over here. There we go. Shut down the very annoying, very dangerous tier 10 Russian reward vehicle. Did you see broken vehicles? Right? It's 2790s. It's chieftains. It's like BZ176 at your raid. Those vehicles are vehicles that need the nerfs. I just don't see why a Progetto 65 was nerfed. But even with the nerfs, I still believe this vehicle is very decent. Um, nothing special nothing bad it's an average vehicle you can have good games with this one if you just know how to use Italian auto reloaders right it kind of continues the line the Pantera the standard B and I feel like it's doing that perfectly okay but monkey with RNG is showing you that I mean when you know how to play these vehicles you can just do so much already up to 4,000 damage six skills oh no the visa is up here with the FV 45 this is not good that vehicle can actually one-shot. Can one-shot Monkey with RNG overhead. Need to watch out putting two into the FE, but you don't want to fire the final one. Can the Leopard finish off the FE? The FE actually clutching the Leopard one. And now this is not good. You need to finish off both the VZ and the FE quickly. Can't let them go after you. The VZ has 920, I think, damage inside the two-shot magazine. And the FE can just one-shot us over here. Can you get before the FE reloads? Before the FE reloads, get to the FV. Shoot the FE. Actually trying to ram the FE to save the shell. I think that was a mistake. Take, losing 165 hit points over here that is definitely not what you wanted because now you are definitely a watcher for the Ang Panzer E100 uh, which before you could actually kind of uh, maybe take one hit from that very very big tier 10 German tank destroyer but I mean getting the kill is what's important over here didn't want to fire the fourth shell probably save it for the badger Okay, but now it's a 1v3. It's also 1v5, if I'm not mistaken. It's against the FE, VZ, and those three. My goodness. Monkey with RNG with a sneaky play actually going down and around. Where's the badger there? Where's the badger trying to push forwards towards where Monkey with RNG was last spotted, which was in the center of the map right here? We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, not finding the badger. Is the badger going over here? Yes, he is. There we go. Backside of the badger. One to the badger. Can we go to second one? Indeed, and uh, the third shot to finish off the Badger. This is just lovely stuff. Absolutely lovely stuff. Last spotted in the center, knowing that there's the cap going, but still having the cool, the calmness to just drive around, flank the Badger, knowing exactly what the Badger's gonna do. Absolutely delicious stuff by Monkey with RNG. <laughs> the people in the chat are encouraging him Telling him, go to the cap, you can do it, it's all of that stuff. 
One into the egg, Pentagon fish off this very dangerous. The only vehicle that could want to I know. Maybe the component of the third one. I'm actually not firing the fourth shell, which is a wise decision. Like I said, you do not want to fire the fourth shell unless you have to. And I don't believe this one would have gone through. Unless it actually caught the Coppola off the, the Jagdpanzer, which is a very low chance. But it's 20 seconds left over here. Still a very healthy mouse. And a Jagdpanzer E100. Mouse was last spotted on board, was it 800 HP? 600 HP? That means we need two shots against the mouse. But it's the Jagdpanzer E100. Didn't need to avoid her. Oh my goodness, the Jagdpanzer misses. Luckily, but it's six seconds remaining on the cap. Can you get into the cap circle? Just stop the cap. Just stop the cap. Two. One can stop the cap. There's the mouse was the right. The mouse is on. I have no idea. I can't see, but it's a low health. Is it a one shot? It is a one shot. 257 HP. Catch the mouse. It's not actually missing the first shot. That's not good. Put one into the side of the mouse. There we go. There we go. 100 cap points received with this reset. Ridiculous. Switching to heat. That is dangerous. If the Yangpanzer E100 rushes, that might not be the best decision. Now the Yangpanzer is actually rushing. Can Monkey with RNG run away from here in time? Yangpanzer going around the corner. And luckily, Monkey with RNG is fast enough to avoid the Yangpanzer E100. Whew. Oh my goodness, from 1v5 into a 1v1, both tanks are one shots for each other. Okay, okay, stay cool, stay cool, stay calm here, monkey with RNG. You're amazing, you've, did, you've done amazingly so far. You can do it. Are you going to go from the left? I actually think you should go around, and there we go. And there we go, monkey with RNG knows what they are doing, actually trying to be sneaky. Go around the 200 IQ planes like they did with the badge and like they did with pretty much for the entirety of this round. Going around and actually avoiding the 50 meters as you can see going all the way around instead of just cutting um, before they reach the base. And that just means an easy shot into the Yang Panzer E100's rear. My goodness, that was delicious. Monkey with RNG. Amazing game. Absolutely lovely stuff. And just look at the, the salute at the end, right? It's just like, this is exactly what I love in World of Tanks, right? The players that go in aggressively, that use their brain, and just make amazing plays uh, from start to finish, by the way, like pushing through the west at the start, going after the TVP, turning down the one 2 one artillery. It's, it's just amazing stuff from start to finish by Monkey with RNG in uh, one of the worst tier 10 medium tanks, I mean. At least statistically, right? Um, but I guess not performance-wise. And you might keep with RNG with the badge, and like that was just such a lovely play. You don't see people do that uh, very often, knowing that they were spotted in the send, right? Knowing that the badger would want to go forwards, go after them. So making a play first, running around, and then cutting towards the north, going behind the badger and just catching them in the backside. Absolutely delicious stuff, and it, uh, uh, Yes, yeah, it's just amazing. I love it when players use their brain like this and have such amazing results. And I mean, with two marks on the Projecto 65, I guess uh, Monkey with RNG, definitely a veteran with this vehicle. Um, so yeah, GG. Well played, Monkey. Amazing game. 6,800 damage, 11 kills. And securing that 1v5, absolutely amazing stuff, lovely plays, and uh, yeah, let's see how amazing it was in the post-game stats. There we go, easy ace tanker for the 1,742 experience, and uh, um, a bunch of those lovely ribbons, a Connor Banner's medal for standing alone against 5 vehicles, and emerging victorious, um, a Paul's medal for destroying 10 or more, in this case 11 vehicles, a uh, defender for reducing the cap points by 100 with a mouse over there. That was ridiculous. Like, at the last second, getting into the cap, the timing was just too perfect. Um, high caliber for the 6,861 damage done, and obviously a top gun for at least 6 kills. In this case, almost 2 top guns <laughs> with 11 kills over here. Um, lovely stuff by Monkey with RNG, firing 32 rounds, 29 hitting, 25 penetrating. A lot of regular rounds, like I believe that only the final clip against uh, the Jagdpanzer E100 was premium rounds. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong over here, but I believe that Monkey with RNG actually fired regular rounds all of this battle, which is not something you see every day. Like a lot of people just shoot gold from start to finish to have a higher chance of penetrating, but that's not what Monkey did over here. So amazing stuff, amazing marksmanship. 
connecting and penetrating all these shots. Like we said, 6,864 damage, 508 from distance of more than 300 meters. Um, four hits received, three of those penetrated, one did not penetrate. I mean, like I said, once you get the nerfs to the armor on an already kind of lightly armed vehicle, you will not be bouncing a lot of stuff, you will not be absorbing a lot of stuff. Most shells will go through your vehicle, except for one, 440 damage blocked by the armor, three vehicles spotted, um, 13 of the enemy vehicles damaged, that's all but two of the enemy's vehicles, and out of those 11 were destroyed, 2,107 damage due to the player's assistance, spotting uh, towards the west, towards the east, just doing a lot of stuff, which means over 10k combined over here. And uh, yeah, one capture point and a 100 defense points, almost 6 kilometers traveled. This is ridiculous, you don't drive that much in World of Tanks most often. Um, but amazing stuff by Monkey with RNG, even getting a bit of credits, I mean with a premium account, even after resupplying the uh, premium consumable, the ammunition, which like I said, no gold was fired until that final shot against the Panzer. If I'm not mistaken, and you can even make a small profit, right, even at tier 10. Um, so yeah, lovely stuff, 2,613 total XP, 131 free XP, 11 minute, 31 second battle, absolutely amazing stuff by Monkey with RNG, and I just love the play, it's like I said, it was just, it was just amazing. I love it when people use the brain to come up with those amazing to, roots and flanks and ah absolutely delicious um so yeah monkey with rng gg well played amazing stuff really really enjoyed uh this battle and if you actually get a chance to see this video let me know please if you got a third mark of excellence i really like i was i i thought this was the third mark battle but unfortunately it wasn't um so yes if you do get to see this please let me know in the comments down below, if you did get your third mark eventually, hopefully you did. I mean, probably right with amazing games like this. Um, but yeah, this is it for this video. So as usual, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of the Progetto 65? Do you think it's good, bad, decent as it is? Um, did you agree with the nerfs when they happened? Do you think those were kind of redundant? I guess they didn't need to happen, right? It was already um, pretty balanced, maybe? Let me know your thoughts your opinions in the comments down below, and as usual, thank you so much everyone for watching, you're awesome, stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I will see you all in the next video, ta-ta's people, have a good one!